It's because they'll adjust the lines, obviously. Matthew Kachuk. Not doing too hot. Dylan Dubé would improve the center core, I suppose, but it wouldn't exactly make us a whole lot better. <clears throat> Alexander Kalorn is on a one-year contract as of right now. Not too shabby stats. Could be a potential option, especially if you want to load up for the run. Defense is solid. I don't want to touch that. We pretty much have two top-pairing defensemen, so I don't want to adjust with that. Hmm. Tough call. Kopitar wasn't extended. I would have brought him in. Andreas Janssen, Dezingle, Cahoon, Palmieri's on a one like one year left on his ELC. Does not seem wise. <clears throat> no current rentals at the moment. Josh Bailey's getting paid nine million dollars. Are you serious? For four years, you're gonna regret that contract. You will surely regret that contract. Elias Anderson would be a solid fourth line option on a. It's not that we're not deep at center, but like we could really use a number four center and roll all four lines type. So Anderson might be our best bet there. <clears throat> Nolan Patrick. He's. Well, he's not doing so hot. Claude Giroux. Morgan Frost. Jakob Borchek. Nick Ritchie, <clears throat> Philadelphia Flyers have certainly followed, followed, fallen from grace. That's why Pittsburgh's doing so good. They signed both Pasternak and Timo Meyer. <clears throat> okay, I, I see how this is. Sign Gambrell and JVR as like depth, or bring them in as rentals in a. <clears throat> in an attempt to pretty much roll four lines and make it ridiculous. I don't want to let go of another first here. Uh, I don't know if we have the goalie prospects to do this. We might. Why? Give him up. <clears throat> He's 54. And then we'll give up... Uh, let's see here. Do we have anything else? Maybe that might be enough. Who knows? Carolina will be over the league max. Okay, then retain some salary then. There. What, are you good over there? No. God dang, you need to chill. Triggering. Damn, you need to chill. You need to chill. You need to chill. You need to chill. Mm. Uh, all right, then. Well, I'm sorry for trying to get some bomb and chill off here. All right, we brought in James Van Riemsdyk and Gambrell to beef up the fourth line. Yes. Yes. Okay, so there's Aho. There. Casperi Kapanen. What about Gambrell in that line? Okay, Gambrell would work. And then we'd have to put Vincent Trocek in the lineup. Okay, the game's not glitching, so that's a good start. Yeah. Okay. Good. Then Jake Bean will play with Pesci. On the second pair, you have Shea, Hamilton, Bean. And then you have Hayden Flurry on the bottom pair with Jacob Slavin. What about the power play? How does that work? Oh, wow. That's a very solid third line power play. And then we'll put... What if we put Shveshnikov here? No. It's a five forward power play. What if we put Nikash there? Nikash should center there. Yeah. Thin resume, my friend. Is it? But it will do its job. Even the thinnest can attract someone. Now we'll keep him there. Now we 
gotta make a proxy email to get an Indeed account. There's someone missing here. What? No, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out who the player missing on this power play is. It might be Trocheck. It's definitely Trocheck. That's solid power play there. Four man power play. Perfect. Penalty kill. So we need to fix Gambrell, put someone else in his place. Why is Shveshnikov a sniper? What about Hosang? Bornquist maybe might work. Power forward. Okay, he's part he works for the strategy, so it's Shea that's gotta change. Maybe put Pesci in. Maybe put Pesci with Bean. Those two seem to work together. Well, that makes it worse. Put Jacob Slavin in. Pigeon with them lines again. Well, I need to put someone in there to make the penalty kill work. Try getting a job. That would be the password. <laughs> Okay, so that. I think we just put Hayden Porter in double duty. Why would you try getting a job? Alright, now that we got the players we needed, let's go to the playoffs. Fuck. Which one's his birthday? The 28th or 29th? Find out tonight at 6 30. I think it's 28th. We'll go with it. 28 97. Alright, 7-3 win over the Detroit Red Wings. First game out of the deadline. 6-4 win against Boston. 2-1 win against the Islanders. 4-3 loss to the Jets. 3-0 loss to Tampa Bay. 4-1 win to Pittsburgh. And a 5-4 win to the Canucks. Carolina has officially clinched the playoffs, along with the Penguins and the Rangers. Back-to-back, -back, one win, one loss. Tampa Bay lost there in a crucial divisional matchup. Or not divisional, but Eastern Conference on the line. Panthers win, Devils win, and the Canadiens. Carolina wins their 50th. And retake the division lead with five games left to go in the season. Carolina Hurricanes have just about matched last year's output. Sebastian Ajo with 95 points on the year. The Carolina Hurricanes have two games in hand and only two points behind. Crucial back-to-back -back here if they want to come in to the playoffs. Shootout loss to the Penguins. Only a point back with a game in hand. They can retake the lead here. Now, Carolina needs to win a game. That's all. Lost to the Flyers, but a loss to the Devils, and we relinquish the division at the very end of the year. Still finish off with a pretty solid year, but we will have to line up against the New York Rangers in the opening round. So, let's look at the end of the year statistics. <clears throat> so we finish off with a record of 53, 25 and four. For a final point total of 110 points. One point better than last year's results. Will we be, for the fourth straight season, the goal scoring crown? The goal scoring darlings? Our three year reign is up. Or no, it's not. 
the Carolina Hurricanes, for the fourth season in a row, finish with the best goals for per game. Once again, the offensive darlings. Goals against. Carolina finishes in fifth place, which is pretty close to their best overall. Their final season rank. They finished fifth in the league. They complete... Did we win the division? No, we didn't. Oops, what the fuck? Okay, there we go. And it points. So the Carolina Hurricanes actually finish third or second in the division and third in the Eastern Conference. In the Eastern Conference. Scheduled to take on the fifth seeded New York Rangers or third seed in the Metropolitan Division. Not an easy matchup here. Let's take a look at the New York Rangers lineup. <clears throat> with Derek currently MIA. Yes. With him being current MIA, I'm uh, the solo man at the helm here for the playoff sim. They have Artemi Panarin, Nick Schmaltz, and Capo Caco on the top line. Chris Kreider, Philip Chido, and Anderson on the second line. Calvert, Stutzel, Howden, and Kravstov, Turris, and Gautier on the fourth line. Carolina rolls all four lines, so the edge goes to Carolina. On defense, they have Jacob Truba, D'Angelo, Robertson, Fox, Mayfield, Lindgren. Carolina has the edge on defense because I know for I don't believe that these guys would even equal the second pair on us. Plus Truba and D'Angelo probably not as high. Assuming are they okay? He's a two-way defender, so I'm assuming the chemistry here might be <sighs> mm. hard to say what the chemistry would be here, but. But it doesn't seem like the chemistry would really be there. Why? And Annette Shesterkin versus Markstrom. I say Carolina wins in a close toss-up in six games. Here we go. Game one here. It's going to be a tight series. Very close. And are the defending champions in the playoffs? Vegas is in the playoffs. Going for their title defense. Not off to the best start, though, with a one nothing series deficit on the Edmonton Oilers. Here we go, Carolina. First period. Nice. Gambrel, the fourth line, contributing early. Oops. Second period. The Rangers get two from Panarin and defenseman Robertson to take a 2-1 lead. Game third period. Carolina ties at Sebastian Ajo. Overtime. First game of the playoffs. Carolina and Rangers going to overtime. So far, shots are just coming in bunches here for both teams. I knew this would be one of those series where, you know what, overtimes may be required a lot. And listen, the Hurricanes are a very solid team. If they win this, I don't see why they can't win more. And the Carolina Hurricanes, Martin Nekash, comes up clutch for Carolina. Game one in overtime to Carolina. Nice, solid effort there. Markstrom shuts the door big time. And the Carolina Hurricanes take the opening series game. So far, the Pittsburgh Penguins division leaders are tied with the Blue Jackets 1-1. The Sabres hold a 1-0 series lead over the Leafs. And the Tampa Bay Lightning hold a 2-0 series lead over the Florida Panthers. Game 2 at PNC Arena between Carolina and New York starts now. First period. Three goals early. All the stars. Sveshnikov, Hosang get their licks in. And Anderson gets one for the Rangers. Second period. Big period there. James Van Riemsdyk. Markstrom playing pretty solid. 18 saves on 19 shots. Third period. Oh, the Rangers made it a rally. They rallied back. But Carolina comes up clutch late in the game. And they take the 5-4 victory. That was a close one, boys. That was close. But you narrowly avoided the humiliation of a comeback. And the Carolina Hurricanes will now take a 2-0 series lead back to Madison Square Garden. The Charlotte Checkers once again missed the playoffs. I don't think they've made the playoffs once since we've actually started this thing but anyway after three games we have the Pan tampa bay lightning or the florida panthers sorry getting a game back the penguins taking the 2-1 series lead and we have the buffalo sabers taking the 2-0 lead on the maple leafs game three madison square garden goes down now <clears throat> here we go first period one goal for the new york rangers tim stutzel the third liner and one of the young guns gets it early for the rangers carolina gets 10 shots can't get one passed 
Okay, the monitor's good. Second period. And the Carolina Hurricanes even it up. Martin Nikash. Third period. Carolina gets two late in the game. And the Carolina Hurricanes push the Rangers to the brink with a 3-1 series or a 3-0 series lead after winning the game 3-1. <clears throat> Are you good? Are you good? Alright, so the Vegas Golden Knights are one game away from elimination, so we will have a new Stanley Cup champion by the looks of it, unless they come back. The Arizona Coyotes have a 2-1 series lead over the San Jose Sharks, Nashville Predators have a 2-1 lead on the Wild, and the Avalanche hold a 3-1 series lead over the Hawks. It looks like Tampa Bay and Pittsburgh are both slated to move on, but Buffalo isn't as safe as they only hold the 2-1 lead, but we'll see anyway. Carolina looking to send the Rangers home here in game four. First period. Rangers get one early from Tony D'Angelo. Hurricanes not getting as many shots so far. The Rangers outshot them 12 to 6. Second period. Nothing there. Carolina still. They managed to outshoot them now 18 to 17. Just can't get one past here. Third period. Hurricanes come back late to take the series from New York. And they will move on to the second round with a 4 0 series sweep. That was not something I anticipated going into this. I thought the Rangers would be at least take a game. But it doesn't matter. The Carolina Hurricanes have moved on. And Tampa Bay has as well. The Leafs and the Columbus Blue Jackets are in do or die scenarios here. And Vegas comes back another game as well. Vegas evens up the series. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Penguins and Blue Jackets are tied here. Who's the second round opponent? The Pittsburgh Penguins blew the series lead. And the Carolina Hurricanes will be taking on the Columbus Blue Jackets. That's a bit of a shocking comeback. I did not expect that. But this leaves us with this roster. We have Alexander Kalorn, Dubois, and Palmieri. Solid first line. Second line, you have Zabinijad, Denault, and Holtz. Another solid second line. You have Cam Atkinson, Wenberg, and Bjorkstrand, and Bemstrom, Texier, Parole. Close toss up here, but I'd say Carolina gets the edge. On defense, you have Sakorensky and Seth Jones. Now, here is the thing about this. This pairing is about even with our second pair, but our first pair would not match up. The second pair, we have a massive upper hand. Same goes for the third pair. Carolina gets the edge there. And in net, you have Corpusalo, who's been pretty solid. <clears throat> and you have Markstrom on the other side. Another close toss-up series. I'm going to say Hurricanes pull this off in six. With their ticket to the third round, I think, in my opinion. Definitely upper hand here. Here we go. And with the... Uh, best team in the Metro out. Carolina can have a pretty solid course to the conference finals. First period. Nothing here. 13 shots to 6 for Carolina. Pepper on the shots, but just can't get one by. Corpus is standing on his head early. Second period. Each of them break through the goalie wall. 1-1 one, one tie. And Carolina's got 27 shots to Columbus's 12. Markstrom still holding firm, but Carolina's going to have to get... Eventually, the way Carolina's playing, they're eventually going to get one through here. Y you just think they would. They are out shooting them double more than double Seth Jones gets one early in the third period and now they take the 2-1 lead Carolina's still got time to come back here six minutes left in the game Carolina's down late here will they have some late game heroics Kyle Palmieri ices it by the looks of it Carolina will lose the opening game three to one <clears throat> so I have to wonder I'm gonna I know that we only have lost one playoff game to this point, but I'm going to see something here if it works. If they could maybe play on the top pair. Yeah, there we go. Now, Brett, Jake Bean and Brett Pesci will now line up on the top pair. Maybe now things will shift in favor. Now that you're giving Jake Bean and Brett Pesci valuable minutes, it's possible that they can take this and turn the series right around. Here we go. Game two in Carolina. First period. Nothing there. Eight shots to 11 for the Blue Jackets. Still tied at zero. Second period. Two goals for Carolina. One from Aho and Hamilton. Zabinijad responds to the other side for Columbus. Third period. Carolina 
opens the floodgates. 5-1 win over the Blue Jackets. Even up the series at one. Heading back to Columbus. To Nationwide Arena.